Get response tutorial how to use get response for email marketing hello guys welcome back in today's video i'm going to show you a tutorial of getresponse.com how you can use it for email marketing what tools does it have and what can help you to grow your business so let's get into it so getresponse.com to get into the website you just have to type getresponse.com onto your url bar and this is the main website it is a very powerful and simplified tool to send emails create pages and automate your marketing as you can see the preface looks really promising get your business online grow your audience boost online sales engage with customers so there are a lot of things that you can do on get response like you can use the sales funnel you can use the pop-up forms you can use it for email marketing it also want, lets you create websites and you can do website tracking you can do transactional emails marketing automation and you can get uh, autoresponders like a lot of things that you can get on get response so how you can get started what you can do is you can create your free account by clicking on this option right here and then bring your email address or you can continue with this option as well which says sign up for free i'm just going to click on that okay so now i have to uh, to create an account i have to provide my name i have to provide my email and then i have to make a password so i'm just going to do that in quickly and i'll get back to you guys okay so i have verified my account from my email that they have sent and now i need to get in i need to fill this information which is name last name company name and residence and everything so you have to basically provide all of these details and then you can continue with your get response account so let me just fill that and i'll get back to you guys again okay, so here you can see that what do you want to focus on first building my audience sending emails or promoting my store so let's say i want to send emails and i'm going to click on next step okay so this is the main dashboard i've got on to and you can see that hi Emily, let's get you to step up with tried and true essentials that will help you grow your business so now there are a couple of things that i need to do to basically get really started with get response i need to add contacts i need to make some newsletters create a welcome autoresponder check your email report so these are all the things that you can do on the top of in the toolbar here you're going to get all the tools that are uh, basically incorporated into get response here you can see email marketing autoresponders website builders landing pages forms and pop-ups forms reports etc so these are all the tools that you can use then you have your contacts right here then you this is email marketing you can just go directly onto that and you can start with making your newsletters and getting your emails created that you can send out to your customers so i'm just going to wait until it loads and here you're in the reports you're going to get the all the reports of what's happening with your business if it's uh if your emails are getting responded if what how many of them are going to spam if people are engaging with your emails or not so you can you're, you're going to get all the uh, basically you can analyze your business by these reports they are going to tell you by the bar charts and everything so this is a really good thing that you can use so first of all keep contacts in the loop with one-time email so to create the uh, newsletter here are some couple of steps that i need to fulfill i have drafts a b tests my templates rss to email and reports i'm just going to cr click on this create newsletter and i'm going to continue by creating a newsletter and to show you guys how it's done Okay, the so first thing is basically an untitled message, what will appear on the first uh, of your newsletter or your email. So let's say um, this is the email that I'm going to create for the sales alert on my business. So I'm just going to make it like this. Okay, so the next, second thing is from the email address that the email is going to be from and reply to, or this is going to be the reply to Amen and everything. So you can change it if you want to and add any other address if you want to. Then you have your subject line. What is how do you want to stand out in the recipient's box what is your subject line so ai subject line generator this is also an option for you if you want to use it so but that for that you have to upgrade your version of get response i'm using the free version right now so i'm just not getting that kind of um you know luxury with me okay so how do you want to stand out okay your message needs a subject line i'm just going to wait uh grab your hands on so you can see that i have added my subject line grab your hands on the products on lowest prices because it's a sales alert so this is going to be a very good you know catchy subject line then you have to add your recipients for that you just need to click on that and you can choose the context that you want to add as your recipients but for that you must have some of the contacts into your list i don't have any contacts right now because i'll uh, show you later how you can add context but right now i'm just going to send this email to me and I'm just going to click on add then you have your design and content now you have to design your message start with a template or reuse content from your existing message so i'm just going to click on this design message and it's going to take me to designing my whole newsletter 
Okay, so here you can see that these are all the templates that I can use to uh, continue with my, you know, uh, with my newsletter. So these are some pre-designed templates. I have my templates, blank templates, HTML editor and existing messages. You can sort by or create it on or you can search for something. I am using something as um, my newsletter is related to sales. So I'm just going to uh, ask it to search for, you know, to give me only the sales alerts, but it's not available so i'm just going to go on to pre-design templates okay so i can choose anything from these and i can convert it into sales alert so you can see that christmas santa it looks really pretty so i'm just going to go on that okay so now here you can see that this is the template that i have right now so what you can do is you can here it comes 30 percent off and site wide and you can see that you can you have all of the options that you can add onto your newsletter you have image text button video space divider social media buttons and custom HTML these are the basic blocks and then you have also have some sections that you can add uh, this this is how it's gonna you know represent your pictures and your text as well so your message style here you can see that when you go on to that background color header footer width etc so these are your message styles that you can change so I'm just gonna go on to layout and I'm going to change a couple of things in this here it comes I'm just going to change it to sales alert rather than here it comes i'm just going to type in i'm going to change the color of the text okay so you can see that i have added sales alert and i have basically added the font a little bit you know increase that and then you have 30 percent off you can change the it to uh any kind of any percent off that you want to then you have your site wide you can add the name of your own brand right here then you can what you can do is you can change this image as well this is a, a you know running image you can change it you can replace it edit it or add Add a link to any kind of image that you have seen online you can add the link here and you can incorporate that inside this so i'm just going to replace it okay so here you can see that i have came on to jiffy and i am going to get a little bit you know some gifs related to sales so i'm just going to use this one right here because it looks you know it looks good it's not very uh, you know unique or something but it looks uh, uh, decent so i'm just going to use that right here instead of the santa because this is not related to christmas or anything so i'm just going to use that now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to replace all of the background color to a black as well to match with the source so i'm just going to go back i'm going to message style and i'm going to change the background color to this and i'm going to change the background image Okay, so I've changed the color to black uh, by of the section and of the section as well. So it looks very, you know, coherent right now. So what I need to do is then you can add the promo code of using this discount right here. Whatever the promo code is, you can add it right here and then you have your go, go, go. You can replace this button as well if you want to. Then you have your orders placed before 20th will be received delivered after Christmas. You can just remove this text because we don't need that. It is not related to Christmas. And then you have your social media buttons right here. After that, this is the footer and it is the get response, you know, powered by get response. So after you're done with your newsletter, what you can do is test and preview it or save and exit. Or you can just click on next to send your newsletter. I'm just going to click on next to let's see how we can uh, to tell you guys how you can send it to any customers that you want. Now here you can see that after you're done with your design it has taken you back to this option right here your design is ready you send test message if you want to then you have your tracking send immediately or you can schedule it for later it's completely up to you or you can uh, save it as a draft and uh, you can it is going to be saved and then you can send it at any time that you want i'm just going to save it as a draft and then i'm going to uh, get into the context and i'm going to show you how you can add the context on good response so after the, my draft has been saved i'm just going to click on contacts now here you have two options. Uh, you can create the list of the contacts depending upon uh, the kind of uh, the characterization of the context that you want. Like, like for example, if you have some VIP customers, you are going to characterize them into one list. If you have your workers in one list and some general contacts in one list, you can characterize them like that. And it is going to make it easier for you to send the email marketing, um, you know, campaigns or send out anything that you want to that specific list of contacts. Then you, uh, to add the context, you can just click on this option and here you can see that uh, one by one manually you can add it by manually and the other one is upload a file use an external service or paste rows you can do that as well i'm just going to show you how you can add it manually for that you need to have an email address of the person you want to add as a contact and the name of the person as well i have permission to add this person to my list click on this and you are going to click on that button and your, and your contact will be added it is very easy and it won't even require any kind of effort and you don't even have to fulfill a you know large number of 
of fields or a lot of things to add the contact onto your form. Okay, so let's take a look at the pricing of GetResponse. Here you can see that you have your email marketing. So right now you have your monthly billing period, your monthly and 12 month uh, billing period, and you have your 24 month billing period. The first plan is for email marketing and the list size is 1000. And for that, you are going to pay $19 per month and it includes email marketing, AI subject line generator, autoresponders, unlimited landing pages, etc, etc. So if you want to increase the list size, then the price is going to be increased. Like for example, if the list size is going to be $2,500, then you have to pay $29 for this plan. The marketing automation plan, it is for list size is $2,500 and the plan is for $69. Let's say uh, for the thousand, it is going to be $59 per month. And it is going to have three users in one segmentation web event marketing automation and everything in email marketing and uh, all of these things as well then you have your e-commerce marketing marketing tools for e-commerces to promote products and grow sales the list size is thousand and you're going to pay one nineteen dollars per month and you can basically have e-commerce tools and everything that has been included in all these two plans uh, other than that you're going to have promo codes recommendations quick transactional emails at as well then you have your max 2 plan it is for the list size of 100,000 plus and for that you have your custom pricing you have to get a code and the team is going to give you the price then you have all of these amazing features and very exclusive features on this um, plan so you can continue with any of that and you can compare these plans uh, by these details right here and you can see what you're gonna get and if it's uh, the features are enough for you then you can continue with the subjected plan so this was it for today's video guys i hope you found it helpful please give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to software is made easy thank you